Hi, this is the first video in a series on mail. In this video, we're just going to talk about how to set up mail. For the most part, it's going to be pretty easy, but for some of you with more unique email addresses, you'll have to put a little more work into setting it up. Uh, and check out our later videos on exploring the interface, composing stuff, creating mailboxes, handling junk mail and signatures, things like that. Okay. I'm going to click on my Apple Mail icon right here. A lot of people wonder why they should use the Apple program. I think it's pretty slick. It's pretty efficient. It lets me know when I have new mail right away. It integrates well with my address book and my calendar down here on the dock. Um, I think it's worth uh, giving a look. Uh, so I'm going to type in my email address here. Okay, And I'll type in my password, which you're not allowed to see. And then I'm going to click Create. Click Create. It's going to jump through all these hoops and check everything. And it's going to set it up for me. Okay. At first, it's real simple. On the left side, I just have an inbox and a sent folder. I have the default RSS feed that Apple creates for me. Uh, and we're going to go through the interface uh, in more detail in a later video. But for now, I just want to uh, give you a few tips on, on setting it up. Obviously, this was just as simple as can be, but if it doesn't work, sometimes you're going to have to put in, um, you're going to have to manually set it up and put in things like incoming and outgoing mail server, okay? Here are, for the most part, the three bit, uh, four bits of information that you need to know to set up your email account you need to know your username. That's probably your email address. For example, interlacedinc at gmail.com. My username is interlacedinc. So whatever comes before the at symbol is probably your username. Secondly, you need to know your password. Thirdly, you need to know your incoming mail server. And lastly, your outgoing mail server. Okay. I'll close this and demonstrate that if you don't know what your incoming and outgoing mail server is, most of the time you can find out with a quick internet search. So I'll open up Safari and go to Google. Now let's say for example that uh, you're in San Diego and you have a Roadrunner account. So your um, email address is going to end in san.rr.com. So I'm going to search for that and I'm also going to search um, incoming mail server just for example okay and the very top hit is this massive list of all the incoming and outgoing mail servers for all of Roadrunner's different areas all across the whole country okay so I'll go out to California and find here southern and Los Angeles ah here's San Diego okay so here is your incoming and outgoing, oops, incoming and outgoing mail server right there. Okay. Uh, again, if you have time, uh, you know, Comcast or something else or a private server, uh, you could probably just change the Google search and find out. Okay. Uh, if you work for a private company, it probably won't be available on the internet. In that case consult your IT department or whoever it is that knows the answer. <laughs> One way or another you should be able to find your incoming mail server. If mail does not automatically set up your email address for you, you're going to be greeted with a window like this uh, in which you have to manually set it up. Okay. Uh, I mentioned here you have to know your incoming mail server so this is just an example but I'll say I have Roadrunner um, I'm just going to, and I would put in my username and then my password, and away we go. It is important to know what kind of account type you have, um, POP or IMAP. If you don't know, uh, talk to your email provider. Most cable companies like Roadrunner and uh, Comcast and things are POP. Uh, most others like Gmail and MobileMe are IMAP. Uh, go ahead and hit continue. It'll make you set up your outgoing mail server. You just put in this same thing. You'll probably want to turn authentication on. Um, 
and then hit continue or create and Lord willing your computer will actually work and set it up for you. If it doesn't work again consult your uh, email provider. So that's it for setting up your email. Uh, check us out in the next video we're gonna learn about how to use it.